Hello, people. I'm Jabby Kuwait, joined by Lorena Abreu. 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 Yeah. Abreu. I pray you. Lorena is a parkour extraordinaire lady person. I actually found her through Jam, Joining All Movement. Get your shirt today. Oh. YouTube.com slash Joining All Movement or at Joining All Movement on Instagram. You guys should check it out. That's how I found you. And that's why you're here today. I didn't know that. So, uh, Holy Escape POV, Best Indian Parkour, GoPro bar- Parkour Hero 8, Holy 2020. Now, uh, you want to tell us, like, your parkour experience? I started parkour as, like, a whole adult. When I, in 2013, I was, like, 19. Uh-huh. I was doing parkour at a time when there weren't a lot of women training in this way, pushing jumps and stuff. I started getting handed money to do parkour for theme park shows and then some weird private corporate events like rich people that wanted to spice up their PowerPoints. And now I'm getting into stunts. So yeah, that's me. I saw I saw like one video of hers (laughs) where she did like a cartwheel. I'm like, all right, bring her on. Cartwheels, good, good enough. Just kidding. Uh, hit that subscribe button, please. Bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up to let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. And make sure to follow Lorena on her Instagram account. Thank you. Do not attempt any of this. I'm gonna do it on my couch. <laughs> parkour, parkour. <laughs> Michael Scott parkour. Yeah. Couch core. Hmm. Oh what? Let's see. Ah, so he's doing it Pedro Salgado style. Mm. Pedro Salgado, I think, was the first guy that I saw doing the get out of bed into parkour oh, really? POV style video. Like straight yeah. up? He's from Portugal. I wouldn't be surprised if this was inspired by him. This has a lot of views, I'm curious. <laughs> no subtitles. Okay. Oh, with her? Are they? A Portuguese automated. <laughs> it's funny you say that, you know. The uh, the Portuguese guy. Yeah. Is, is this a Pedro video? No, 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 no. Wait a second. Is it? Oh, no. No, it's not. I think it's in India. Yeah. Ben 10. <laughs> yes. Oh, shit. I like that this has a plot. I'm liking it. Do you know what Holy is? No. Okay, so so real quick, before we jump into this, Holy is a, a festival event. Alright. Oh, so we're switching POVs. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, fun. Bye. Oh, they're playing tag? Okay. Uh, I think the guys that were... <laughs> he's smiling. He forgot he's supposed to be angry. I think the guys breaking into the apartment are trying to get this guy. Hi, Nina boy. Which I like. I like that they set up a plot. It doesn't have to be more complicated than that. All right, here we go. Hey. Are you yes, s- thank you. My biggest gripe with POV videos is when you can't see the jumps. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, I like that. Even though it was a rough cut. <laughs> well, what's cool about this is you're not just getting the POV. Sometimes yeah. you're getting third person Personally, perspective. Personally, I like that. Whoa. <laughs> you're all smiling. I love it. <laughs> just having fun. He's probably like, guys, guys, remember to be angry. (laughs) What? (laughs) (laughs) I like it. I love it. Yes. Oh man, this is great. What? Oh, that was fun. That's a little bit of Tony Jaw in there. Yeah. I'm really glad. I'm really glad they showed that from two angles because mm-hmm. the, the headset angle, even though it's a wide field of view, it's not yeah. enough. You're not capturing yeah. enough to see what's going on there. Ah. Uh. <laughs> 
opening present like this. <laughs> Are they waiting for him? Okay. Little when you guys are doing parkour stuff moment. with your GoPros, is there an exaggerated hand thing going on so the camera can see it? Because it feels that way. Yeah, probably. I don't do a lot of GoPro stuff because I usually don't like watching GoPro videos. Oh, gotcha. Just because you can't really tell what's what the jumps are. I just want to see the jumps. Yeah, yeah, I hear you on that. But Store has gotten really good at making GoPro videos that are very enjoyable to watch. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cute little gag yeah. that he keeps psyching them out. From Flip, yes! <laughs> Show it. There we yeah. go. Ooh. Nice. That's a nice jump. Oh. This is a banger. Yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> got interesting front tucks. Because he always comes out with one leg leading. Is yeah, that, that's, a that's a parkour, parkour thing. thing? Yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. Because ideally you want to come out like running already. Yeah, see, I have a more gymnastics background. Yeah, we have. It's very, very different tech. Yeah. What? Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> right over the guy's head. That's a jump. Oh, he rolled out nice. These guys. <laughs> we all know who's a professional here. Oh boy. Oh we boy. We all know who this is a professional. Oh no, like a five foot wall. I can't get over it. <laughs> He's gonna get beat up by a bunch of kids. <laughs> Are they on his side? I guess so. They're gonna throw a bunch of. Oh, they're oh. throwing out. They got. Is it just water or is it holy water? Oh, nice. Holy, holy. Throw that color. <laughs> Spider Man. <laughs> yeah, they're just playing. One of them's on rollerblades. <laughs> it's so chaotic. <laughs> All right. So how'd you feel about the techniques in here in, in, in terms of the, cause I don't know parkour anywhere near on the level of you or yeah. Travis Wong. Like I'm so, more of just like this pedestrian fan of parkour stuff. So the, the parkour level itself was mm -hmm. Pretty rudimentary. Okay. Uh, he did that one stride in the beginning, which is when you jump off one leg to land on one leg and keep going, that they showed from two angles, and mm. that was probably the most impressive thing parkour-wise that yeah. I saw. Yeah, yeah. Given the level of parkour, I'm impressed with the composition of the video itself. There were some rough cuts, like just disregard for the 180 rule in filmmaking, but it she was. She used very to be fun. an editor also, so you oh, guys yeah, have to I keep that in mind. You're, you're dealing with like a powerhouse <laughs> over here. Parkour, yeah. editing, flipping, stunts. She's the whole shebang. Teams like Store, when they make GoPro videos, even if you're switching angles so you can see the size of the jump as well as the point of view of the jump, you generally want to make it flow and make one thing flow to the other. Even if you're changing spots, you want it to appear as though you're going directly from one thing into the other. There was a lot of jumping around. Cut wise mm -hmm. in this video, all of a sudden he's here doing this, then all of a sudden he's there doing that, which is fine. I, they're, I enjoyed it anyways, because look at them, they're having so much fun. Right, <laughs> I mean, that's the overall vibe that they're going for here. The cutting around between the, the POV angle and then the repeat third person perspective, I didn't mind that. I actually appreciated it because usually when I see these yeah. cut types of videos, whether it's a pseudo narrative like this or just a collection of movement, I'm usually like, uh, Okay, I think I got the context of what happened there because like you said, it's harder to tell what's going on in the POV. The yeah. POV stuff is great for like those those Russian type 
videos where they're like hanging <laughs> yeah. by their pinky off the top of a building. A, oh, you know, no. You like that? Oh, that yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> that kind of stuff, POV, I get it. But like for parkour, it's a little bit confusing and that's why I never got into Mirror's Edge, which is the parkour video game. Uh, um, yeah, I, I really appreciate getting to see the jumps from a different angle, yeah. for sure. That's what I appreciated here. I just wish there was more dynamic stuff going on because it felt like, I mean, this is me just being as transparent as possible with you guys. It felt like there was a lot, there was a setup for bigger stuff to come and it was more of like we plateaued for the coolest stuff near the beginning and then it just kind of stayed there or was less crazy if that makes any sense yeah this reminds me a lot of the super cringy videos i would make when i was like 14 called to ninja call so she's calling herself cringy just so you know oh always <laughs> yeah <laughs> to ninja call oh yeah i'm calling myself cringy not these guys these guys are fun yeah so it reminds me of my own cringy video uh to ninja call where it was kind of a similar chasing someone up and down stairs except there was fighting <laughs> I want to see that. Funny. I want to. I want to see all the. Um, but that was a fun video. Yeah, no, it's fun. I liked. It. I, I I enjoyed it. Don't get me wrong. I think that I would have liked it if there was just more dynamic stuff that we could see. And because there wasn't that much dynamic stuff in terms of like tricks, because that's what we're used to seeing. If I mm -hmm. if I pull up my phone right now on, on Instagram, I'll give you guys a little bit of context. So I was watching uh, Boba Fett, and there's a little bit of parkour in episode two of Boba Fett. I believe it's episode two, and I remember. Ta I, I I don't remember which friend I was talking to. I think it might have been Sintel. And he was like, you know, the parkour in there wasn't great. And I go, well, I was just happy to see parkour in the Star Wars universe. It doesn't help that you can open up your Instagram and see parkour that destroys what you saw in Star Wars in seconds. Like, it just destroys what you see here. It, it's not that hard to find really cool shit on Instagram, right? And that's what you're competing against because like this is a seven and a half, seven and a half minute video. You're asking for my attention for seven and a half minutes. You have to justify that, that runtime for a YouTube video like this because on Instagram, it's like 10 seconds, boom, like they did some crazy ass shit I'll never do, right? Like, oh, look, look at Lorena, so. Yeah, but so. you know, that's, uh, that's an, in, that's a, I won't get into the conversation, but that's an interesting lead into a big conversation that's happening right now in the community, which is people who are putting their longevity mm -hmm. and frankly, livelihood at risk to do bangers, risky bangers to yeah. get hits on Instagram. So yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. that's kind of a moment that the community's having right now, having right now and it's an interesting conversation, but yeah, yeah I see what you mean. Yeah, be mindful of your knees because uh, once they're gone, they're gone. But like the overall vibe I enjoyed, I just wish this was, this was shorter, like you could have shaved off a couple minutes, that's me being real with you. And then like integrate more of the holy stuff if you can, because it all like just came at the end and I was like, oh, and the amount of like color and whatnot that was happening, it felt like a little bit underwhelming because I was expecting that to be like a bigger element. As opposed to like a couple of water balloons. I would love to see a follow-up video to this. A flying Mina boy would make another would make another one. I'd love to see a follow-up to this video. Yeah, they have so much potential. Yeah. For me personally, I would just love to see continuity throughout the edit. Like I don't want to feel like I'm jumping from cut to cut in different locations. I want it to look like it's a continuous chase. Mm. Even if you are changing locations, just edit it in a way so that one cut flows right into the next one. Yeah, good point. Yeah. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Follow Lorena on the Instagrams, uh, Lorena Parkour, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon, all notifications, and pretty please vote this up to let YouTube know you enjoyed what you watched. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Lorena. Peace out.